After posting decent results in October, equity funds in Canada were headed for yet another disastrous performance in November, until the final few days of the month when a renewed wave of optimism gripped the markets. Now, in Canada, only seven of the 22 Morningstar Canada fund indices that track equity categories ended the month with, in positive territory, but most of those that finished in the red lost less than 1%. With me to talk about these results is Morningstar fund analyst Salman Ahmed. Now, Salman, what exactly happened in the last few days of the month to change things around? Well, there was a little bit of optimism uh, in the market towards the last few days. Uh, some of this was triggered by a rumor that came out of uh, came out of Europe that the IMF would be coming in and helping Italy out with its finances. Now, although this rumor was was fairly quickly quashed by the IMF, just a little bit of optimism helped prop up the, prop up the market. Um, you know, you've had a you had a long period of time over November where the market was dogged by negative negative news, and so even the slightest bit of positive news helped you know, produce some optimism with, with investors. Now, we back to Canadian mutual funds, we had a, uh, an eclectic mix of uh, fund categories at the top of the performance table this month. What were some of the, uh, what were some of the winners in November? Um, so long-term fixed income was the best performing category for the month. Um, it's understandable why, because for much of the month there was a, a risk-off, risk-averse um, mindset with investors. So this was the best performing category. The other two categories that were the top performers were ooh, healthcare, equity, and U.S. small mid-cap. And the reasoning behind these is a little more, um, you know, it, it can be identified, it can be really pinpointed other than that. Uh, healthcare is considered more a risk-averse equity class, but U.S. small mid-cap, there, there isn't a very strong reason why, why it would be one of the top performing categories. Now, at the bottom of the table, one of the, one of the worst performers was the Morningstar uh, Financial Services Equity Fund Index. Is there anything that explains why this one did so badly? Yeah, financial services actually started off very poorly. It was, uh, it was losing more than 9% at one point during the month. But uh, the Canadian banks in specific helped prop this up towards the end of the month. Uh, there were some positive earning releases in Canada. RBC, Scotiabank beat, beat estimates. But um, uh, globally, financial services are still dogged by uncertainty. And um, Standard & Poor actually cut the credit ratings for some of the largest global banks, HSBC, UBS, Citi, all had their credit ratings slashed. Thank you, Salman. And for more on Morningstar's survey of fund performance for the month of November, please click on the link on the right side of the video player and check back with us regularly for more news and updates.